and welcome back to another one of my thrilling videos. It's great to be back. So today we're going to be having a quick look at the Fujifilm DL270 Zoom, which is a 35mm point and shoot compact camera, uh, which was launched to market uh, circa 1994. It's um, quite nice to be able to do one of these reviews as I haven't done one for uh, quite some time. So um, what we're going to do, um, as always, just going to have a little look at the camera uh, and then I'm going to uh, share some of the results with you. So uh, without further ado, let's have a, a closer look at the camera. But before I do, as everybody always asks, what does uh, what battery does the camera take? And I can show you right here, it's a 123 battery or some also say a CR123 battery. And if anybody is interested, the film which I used is the Ilford XP2 400 Super, or is it Ilford XP2 Super 400? I never know that, if I get that right or wrong. So anyway, let's um, move this out of the way. Oh, and I should say, uh, I got the instructions with it, which was very useful, uh, and I got it from a charity shop um, in around about July 2022 for five UK pounds. So uh, again, quite a cheap camera to pick up. So. I suppose the first thing I should do is pop the battery into the camera. That would be useful because some of the review might require the functionality. So pop the battery in. Oh, don't drop it with the positive side facing down. I'm going to shut that in. There you go. And we are ready to go. So, yeah, the Fujifilm DL270 Zoom, a bit of a mouthful. Um, and like I said, came to market around 1994. It's a pretty basic camera, but um, we like basic cameras on this channel because it means that there's less to go wrong. Okay, so without further ado, um, let's have a look at the camera. So um, let's start at the front of the camera with the lens. As you can see, it's a super EBC Fujinon zoom lens, 35 to 70 millimeter. Now at the moment it's shut, but if I just show you here, there's a little pin protruding here. If we press that in and move it down one, that will get it to open up with all of its glory. And over here, we have your zoom controls here. So if we just press that in, zoom in and zoom out. And the same here. And you'll see, if you watch at the top of the viewfinder as well, you'll see how it changes, which is pretty cool. And if we pull it down one more to P, that puts the camera into panorama mode. Now, all that means is that you'll get black bars appearing at the top and the bottom of your picture. And the little indication in the camera right there is telling me that we are in panorama mode. You can see it's just a P. It looks like an F, but it is a P. And there are, I did take a few uh, panorama shots, so I will show you that uh, on the uh, pictures at the end. Okay, so we've covered there. We've got the zoom control here. We've got how you turn the camera on and off. We turn it off for now. Press the little pin in. Um, now, looking at the top of the camera, we're going to work our way across. Now, if I get this in the right light, that should be okay. Uh, you have like two little black circles, one there uh, and one there. Now, those are uh, the autofocus windows. I, I didn't know that. I had to look in the uh, manual for that. And then you've got a little lamp here on the left hand side, and that is for the red eye reduction. And then right next to that, this little circular uh, light right there, uh, that is, or the sensor, should I say, that's your automatic exposure uh, light sensor. Then obviously you have your viewfinder up the top here and you've got your flash right there. Underneath the flash, we have another couple of sensors and that's all to do uh, largely with the remote control that I don't have for this camera. You have the remote control sensor and then on the right hand side, as we're looking at it, you have the uh, remote control self timer lamp, which is there. Fortunately, I don't have the remote control, so I can't show you that. Okay, so um, let's just move around to the top. Now, obviously camera um, has got no filming it, but just for the purposes of the demonstration, we're gonna pop this open. Now, what's cool about this camera is the way that you load the film. I've never had one of these cameras. Now you notice that this hasn't opened all the way up. And the reason for that, if we just turn this around, and show you the bottom is that you just it's drop and load so all you need to do is pull the towel part of the film out drop it into the camera and it does the rest for you now you can if i show you this there is like a little lip uh, right here 
you can see that there. And you can just pull that across if there's a problem or if it gets stuck to actually open the compartment up. But yeah, it's a drop and load camera. And uh, I'd never had one of those before. So that was pretty cool. So we're gonna shut that up. Oh no, noisy. So if you have a film in the camera, then obviously at the top here, it's gonna show you how many exposures that you've got left. So we're gonna turn the camera on. As you can see, nothing is being displayed because there's nothing in the film. But there are things that we can show you on the display. So as you see here on the back, we've got two buttons, one for the remote, infrared remote, and the self timer, and the, the button for the flash. So if we press down this one here, and we're gonna get it onto self timer. So if we see here, we press it in. So if we press that button once, you will see self timer. We press it again for the remote control, and then we press it again, and you go back to the start. So if we press it on for self timer, and then we're gonna press down the shutter button. And there we go, and there we have your lamp indicating, get ready. Flash, 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 flash. And there you go, indicating that the self timer is working as it should do. And then obviously right here, we have um, flash, like that. You will see that the eye picture has come up and that is obviously for red eye reduction. Press it again, that is flash, or take a picture with a flash, and then take a picture without a flash. And then you press it again, and then we reset. So red eye reduction, picture with a flash, picture without a flash. So that's quite self-explanatory. And like I say, all your exposures will be shown up there so you know exactly where you are. Um, so that's the camera in a nutshell. Um, Oh, and I must say, it's got a very nice uh, kind of like rubbery kind of uh, shutter. Uh, let's just take a picture now. And it works really well. Um, now, what, how do I feel about this camera? Well, I knew when I bought it that it wasn't going to be the best camera I'd ever used. Um, and I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I hate it. Um, I don't really feel any particular way about it. Um, I put the camera, sorry, I put the film in the camera in July 2022, and I didn't finish shooting with it until uh, this year, January 2023. And I don't know if that was because I was too busy or I didn't think that um, I was kind of attached to the camera as much as I have been to other cameras. What I was surprised by was the quality of the pictures that I got out of this. Um, when I say there's not much to do on the camera, there really isn't. Zoom control, turn the camera on, um, and that's really it. Um, I'm not sure I would have paid top dollar for this back in the day, um, but I think, you know, let me know what you think about the camera. Like I say, I got it for five UK pounds. Um, I'm not going to be keeping this camera. Um, I'm very impressed with the picture quality on it, but the reason I'm not going to keep it is simply because I've just got uh, a few point and shoot cameras which I absolutely love and I'm not necessarily in love with this particular camera so um, let me know what you think do you have a Fujifilm DL270 zoom love that name um, have you got any great memories of this camera or uh, is it not for you but anyway that was me and uh, I hope you enjoyed that review and let me know what you think of the pictures that's me signing off I'll see you all later